automatic manual transmission cars or AMTs are the new trendy thing in the Indian automotive market with an easy to drive mode and hassle free gear change the transmission model has proven out to be a hit amongst the domestic car buyers. Now with the launch of Celerio many other car makers brought their version of the hit and affordable cars in the AMT model. Tata came out with the Tiago AMT, Hyundai came out with the Santro AMT and also Renault with the Quid and much more. But what Maruti did in fact they actually rebadged it to AGS or Auto Gear Shift and now tops the list with numerous number of models like Espresso, Celerio, Wagonar and even the Desire. Also the Nexa Ignis 2. In today's video, we try to explain you the perfect way to drive an Aegis and thus bursting the bubble of myths and rumors that's been doing rounds in the Indian market and hence keeping the consumers in double thoughts whether to go for it or not. As mentioned earlier, in this video, we are not going to explain you about the various features that the Aegis has to offer like the creep function, manual mode, etc. This video is purely focused on the driving style of an Aegis so as to squeeze out the maximum fuel efficiency from it. And we call this the cruise mode. But at first, let me explain you how majority of the owners drive an AGS. Now, owners tend to give a heavy input on the accelerator, which actually prolongs the car to be in the given gear in order to achieve maximum speed, thus decreases the fuel efficiency drastically. In fact, they activate the kick down feature of the AGS unknowingly quite often, which is only needed on an incline or while overtaking. Now we all know that in a manual transmission, the highest fuel efficiency is achieved while cruising at optimum speeds in the top gear. Will that be possible on an AGS? Well, the answer is yes. There is a way to manipulate the intelligent shift control actuator to upshift according to your command at lower speeds so as to cruise in the top gear. Now the rule of thumb is be light footed, a constant yet light input on the accelerator will do the job. Here you can see that we have managed to engage the fifth gear at as low as 50 kmph. How, now how do you do it? It's as easy as three steps. 1. Give constant yet light input on the accelerator. 2. Take the foot off. And 3. Give the same amount of input. Now what's important here is to leave the accelerator completely and then a gentle input. By doing this, the intelligent shift actuators senses that you need an upshift and hence shifts to the next gear. Perform the same at around 20 plus kmph to shift to the third and around 35 plus kmph to the fourth gear. Keep in mind the fifth gear only engages at 50 plus speeds. We have named this as the cruise mode and by a bit of practice, I am sure you won't ever be complaining about your mileage figures. Hope this video finds you in good health and until next time, take care and be safe.